Hello and welcome everyone to class 11th chemistry lab series. So let's get started with experiment number 1. Our aim is to detect the acidic and basic radical from the given salt. So chemicals we are going to require for this is mineral acids, AgNO3, Nestle's reagent, nitric acid, K2Cr2O7, lead acetate and acetic acid. Priorities required are test tube, test tube holder, test tube stand, funnel and watch glass. So let's get started with the preliminary test. The color is white, the state is semi-crystalline, it is soluble in cold water, smell of ammonia, it has low density and when we will do dry heating test it gives white residue and no characteristics flame. Now we are having three columns. First is the experiment, second observation and the third influence. So let's start with the first one. In first one we'll experiment with salt plus dilute H2SO4. We'll observe no reaction and influence dilute group absent. In the second one we'll experiment salt plus concentrated H2SO4. We'll observe that it gives pungent and suffocating smell and the influence is it indicates the presence of concentrated group may be chlorine. The third one is confirmatory test. We'll experiment with salt plus concentrated HNO3 plus EGLO3. We'll observe it will give white PPT which is white precipitate and influence will be it confirms the presence of chloride. The fourth one is chromyl chloride test. We'll experiment with salt plus K2Cr2O7 plus concentrated H2SO4. We'll observe that CrO to Cl to gas will evolve and influence that it indicates chloride. The fifth one is we have to pass that gas into NaOH and we'll observe that it turns yellow. The sixth one is we have to experiment by adding acetic acid and lead acetate to the above solution. We'll observe that it will give yellow precipitate and influence it confirms chloride. The seventh one is we have to test for basic radical. We have to experiment with soil plus NaOH. We have to boil the content and we will observe that it will give ammonical order and it indicates zero group. So at the 8 one, we have to pass the ammonical order into another test tube having Nestle's reagent. We will observe that it turns brown and influence that it confirms the presence of ammonium. And after doing all these experiments, we will get the result that the given acidic radical is chloride and the basic radical is ammonium. So the given salt is ammonium chloride. Hope it helped you. Thanks for watching.